question as simple as what's your name? But when I came to find an answer, I felt confusion, I felt shame. She stands still asking me, who are you? Are you faithful to who you are? Who am I? Well, my name is Ahmed and yeah, no. Who are you? Are you faithful to who you are? <laughs> Wait, is this some sort of trick question? No. Who are you? Are you faithful to who you are? Okay, at that point, my head was spinning in a million directions, trying to understand, trying to make some connections. Who am I? Well, I am a human that happens to be a Muslim, female, Canadian, Egyptian. What I'll leave is what it says on my identity transcription. I am a human made from all of a clot of blood, mixed with some water and, of course, some mud. I'm supposed to be empathetic to all of humanity, whether they follow Judaism, Islam, or Christianity. We all came from Adam and his wife, Hawa. So as a child, who chose his parents. I must show some wala, some loyalty. Okay, she interrupted, but how will you show faithfulness to humanity as the human you claim to be? Well, I won't just treat others the same way I want to be treated. That's too much of a cliche, but I'll hunt down good like a power is a predator and it was the prey. I mean, God gave us this beautiful piece of land, trusting us to make it better, spreading peace with our own minds and bare hands, and so to this trust we must fulfill. We can't take back the promise that we made to our creator. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be stamped as a traitor to my Lord. So if I'm not faithful to all of humanity, then I must be suffering from severe insanity because I am human. Okay, she said. Tell me more. Are you faithful to who you are? I am a Muslim and Islam is my religion. And I proudly state that it is my decision, but I guess I do sometimes go off track, missing prayers back to back, but hey, no one's perfect, right? But you should try to be. Okay, I don't know what world you're living in, but I live in somewhere called reality, where the people are real, the feelings are real, the hatred is real, where I am real. You think I can be the best Muslim I can be? With all these stereotypes going around about me? And if I go to pray, I'm setting some bomb. And if I go to pray, I'm setting some bomb. Because peace is not my religion, violence is Islam. I hate wearing this skirt because of all the looks that I get. Like I'm some sort of monster, alarming some sort of threat. And if I ever try discussing the existence of a god, they all think I'm nuts, so weird, so odd, so I just Stay away from that trap. <laughs> that made me laugh, she said. Think about your prophet back in the day and the amount of faith he had that can't be found today. She, at that point, she got to me. She made me really think about my beloved Rasul and how no one believed him, making him, labeling him as a fool. Now, if insulted in such way, the best of mankind, if they call me stupid and really shouldn't mind, I'm nowhere near great as he. Am I? Well, that actually sparked a change inside of me to be the best Muslim female Canadian Egyptian that I can be. And no, I don't have to be perfect right off the bat but I'll sure be better than where I'm currently at. I'll even be faithful to everything that I should be faithful to. To Allah, the one and only King, because he told us to be loyal to everything. So if we just simply obey Wallahi, peace is just a step away. So now do you know who you are? Well, deep inside I always knew, but coming from you, it was kind of new. Now, staring at myself, she said, well, actually, I am your reflection, asking you these questions every single day. And thank you. Wow.